Hey guys, welcome back in the kitchen. You're cooking with Paul on Tina Clary Cooks. So today we are making some baked honey garlic turkey wings. You guys heard me right, some baked honey garlic turkey wings. Here are the ingredients we will be using. I will be using some fire and smoke honey garlic seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, sazon. I have some sour cream and chives, mashed potatoes that's gonna go along with this, as well as some corn on the cob. You guys, let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is start off by seasoning our turkey wings. You guys, I am going to go down first with my sazon, okay? You can shake it on there like so. The more you put, the more golden brown your turkey wings will be, okay? Let's get that on there and cover them like so. Okay, hold up the flat part here. You cover them up. All right, the second thing I'm going in with is some garlic powder. And I'm seasoning very wildly because I love garlic powder and onion powder. Okay, and that is the next thing up to go on our turkey wings is some onion powder. you guys last but not least some honey garlic barbecue rub seasoning you guys this is my first time trying this seasoning and I hope it's delicious because it smells delicious now that we have the paper out you guys we are gonna go in with that honey garlic barbecue rub seasoning like so okay. I might want to add some pepper to this because it has very little pepper in it okay I love seeing my black pepper on any dish that I'm putting it on, okay? Let's put that on there like so. You guys, the last thing I'm gonna drizzle across these babies is some grapeseed oil, okay? Let's this is gonna be used as a tenderizing agent. them over just like this we are gonna go back in there backwards all right with our pepper first let's even out the flavors on this baby that's the only reason why I season forward and backwards okay we're gonna go back here with our honey garlic seasoning very heavily. Okay. All right. Back with our onion powder. Garlic powder. And last but not least, our sazon. Okay? get those babies covered we're gonna make them nice beautiful and golden brown you guys this thing is gonna be full of flavor I just know it is okay now you guys can bake this with a liquid or without because it's gonna make its own broth anyway okay so what I'm going to do here you guys to go along with that grapeseed oil I got some butter under this thing, if it'll let me take the top off. Okay. Yeah, there we go. See, I got it in both halves. All right. Let's turn it upside down like that. You guys, it doesn't matter where you put the butter. It's all going to melt. It'll be all over these turkey wings, okay? You got that butter and that grapeseed oil. What a nice tenderizing agent combo, okay? You guys, they will both tenderize these turkeys until they fall off the bone. Since it doesn't want to come off this wooden spatula, let's tuck that right there. All right, we're gonna stick the top back on this baby and put her back. Right, the next thing we're going to do is put some more grapeseed oil 
on the top of these things. Okay. That'll also help crisp up the skin a little bit, you guys. And who doesn't like a baked turkey wing with a little bit of a crispy crunch? Okay. I'm gonna put that in the oven like so on 430 degrees. You guys will put it on an odd number because that's just what I do. Again, this is going in with no liquid in the oven at 430 degrees, you guys, until tender and done. Okay? Let's get started on our sweet corn, you guys. I'm gonna go in with a hefty tablespoon of butter. So, this is my favorite thing, a spatula spoon, that silicone, you guys. Okay, once we get that butter in there, you guys, we are going to go in with 12 ears of corn, and these are the niblets, okay? You guys, excuse the dishwasher in the background, so it's got to work too, okay? Now that we have all 12 pieces into our pot, you guys, I'm gonna tell you this now, I use a lot of sugar into my corn because that's what I like, okay? If you do not like sugar into your corn when you boil it, please omit it or use less sugar than I am using. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a full cup of sugar. cup of sugar because that's a half cup uh, measuring cup and then I'm going to go in with some salt all right that's all I'm going to put in that I'm going to cover that back up and you guys I will start on my mashed potatoes whenever my turkey wings are halfway up you guys we are halfway through cooking our turkey wings now it's time to start on our mashed potatoes you guys, I'm going to start by taking my hot pot off of my stove eye. You guys, because I do not want this mashed potato to pop back up and burn me on my skin. I'm gonna dump five pouches, sour cream and chives mashed potato mix into 10 cups of water, okay? Let's get a whisk, stir that around. You guys, it's gonna thicken up before your eyes. If you need more water, you guys, add more water or you could add milk to the mix, okay? So, what I'm going to do, since mine is super thick, is add some milk, as well as some extra sour cream. Okay. Let's put that milk in there like so. You guys, I don't measure sometimes, or most of the time, really. Okay, so I put that in there and I'm going to squirt a good bit of sour cream, okay? Let's knock the excess out of our whisk. Okay. I really think I should do this with a wooden paddle. You guys, we are going to add some more milk. Let's put a good bit in there this time. All right. As well as more sour cream. Okay. I'm going to come back in with my wooden paddle. you guys so this is how our mashed potato is looking you guys I'm gonna dump some butter in there as well okay let's dump that in there like so give that a good stir you guys don't that thing look nice and creamy oh yes look at that baby look at that oh yes all right so I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on that baby 
and let it stay warm on the eye, okay? Now, for our turkey wings. For our turkey wings, you guys, the reason I wanted to take them out halfway during the cooking process is to take my knife, you guys, and go through them like so, okay? That's what I want to do. For some reason, I want to keep hitting the bone in that one. They're nice and tender, too, okay? But I'm poking holes in them because I want to add some of my mom's homemade barbecue sauce, you guys. If you guys saw the camera shake, that was me hitting the camera stand, okay? No tripod. All right, so I got holes crunching all of my turkey wings, you guys. Now it's time to add that salt. You guys, I have here some of my mom's homemade vinegar-based sauce, and I am going to pour that on there like so. All that good sauce is going to go inside of those wings, you guys. Yes. Pour that on there. After we get through pouring all that good sauce all over these wings, you guys, we are going to stick it back in the oven for about 30 minutes. Okay? We'll see you back in that time. You guys, we are back, and here's the final results of our turkey wings. You guys, they look delicious. It might look burnt on camera, but I swear it's not. All right, that's our turkey wings. You guys, let's carry you over to our corn. You guys, look at that. Yes, some tender sweet corn. Look at those. Mm-mm, girl. Let me carry you over to the sour cream and chives mashed potatoes, you guys. Nice and creamy. Look how whipped and creamy they look, you guys. Now it's time for me to make a plate to show you how it looks. All right, guys, so here's the final results. Plated, you guys, we have some sour cream and chives mashed potatoes, some honey garlic baked turkey wings, and I have here some sweet corn. You guys, I'm about to go in, so if you like what I've done, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so y'all know when I'm back in the kitchen. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye!